Hey guys, it's Miss Crystal here. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful winter break. I know I enjoyed my two weeks off and happy new year. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next year. I know I'm definitely hoping that 2021 is going to be a little bit better than 2020 was. So what we're going to be discussing this week is the topic of space. Now, I love space. I think it is such a cool topic. There's so much to discuss. And there's so much out there that we don't know about space. I just, I don't know. I personally think it's really cool. I love space. So what I have for us today is a cool little STEM experiment. We're going to be making an Alka-Seltzer rocket. What we need for this is pretty simple. We only need, really need kind of three things. First, you're going to need these Alka-Seltzer tablets or any kind of antacid tablet. These are, these are the ones that when you put them in water, they get all fizzy. Next, obviously, we're going to need some water. And then finally, we're going to need a tube of some sort with a pop on cap. Now, if your family has any like old film canisters laying around, that would be perfect. But you don't have to have that. And that's not what I'm gonna be using today. What I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using a little M&M Minis tube. They come, it's the one that comes with M&Ms that are little itty bitty, much smaller. I just bought one of those and I put the M&Ms away in the little Ziploc bag. That way I can use the tube for this activity. So one of the important things for this is you want to make sure the cap pops off like this. Comes off all the way. Now, when you normally it comes connected like this and that way you can close it, open and close it without losing it. However, for this activity, we need it cut off. So that's something you need to do. Now, the next thing that I like to do is I like making a little mini rocket. That way you guys can see what that is. Just a little zoom in. And this is going to go on top of the cap. You can glue it on. You can tape it on. Anything you can do to get it on. This will just help us visualize how our rocket moves up. It's a little bit easier to follow this than it is this cap. See, when the Alka-Seltzer tablets and the water combine, it creates a chemical reaction. It releases CO2 gas or carbon dioxide, which is what kind of gives you this burping feeling after you have uh, a thing of Alka-Seltzer if you're sick. It's the same thing that happens whenever you drink a soda or a sparkling water. You're drinking in this carbon dioxide, this fizziness, and it's what causes you to burp. Now, a similar chemical reaction happens inside the kind of the blaster for a rocket, the engine. There we go. The rocket fuel itself doesn't do anything, but when you ignite it, same thing that happens in a car, it is the fumes that come off the reaction of this fuel meeting heat is what propels it forward. So it's not the gas you put in a rocket or the flames themselves that are causing it to propel forward. It's the chemical reaction that's pushing the pressure back. So what we have is an at-home safe model. One of the things I do want to remind you guys, because this is kind of not really an ex- explosion, but it is pressure moving up. I really recommend you take this activity outside. That way you're not accidentally knocking something over in your house. And when you do take it outside, make sure it's somewhere safe. You don't want to accidentally, you know, have it go off and maybe hit your neighbor's window. That would be really bad. So make sure you're doing it in an open area where it's safe to do it. Now, before we go outside to do this, we need to figure out exactly how much of our two components, our Alka-Seltzer and our water, we need to add to our rocket. Now, I will give you guys one tip 
before you do it yourselves. While it may become, well, your first idea might be to add as much water and as much Alka-Seltzer to your tube as you can to get a bigger explosion. That's not actually how it's going to help. It's not going to work that way. See, when you add the water and the Alka-Seltzer and it releases that carbon dioxide we talked about, it needs space to build. And if you fill your water all the way to the top and you add all these Alka-Seltzer uh, tablets, you're only really getting that much space for the pressure to build. We need more. So when you try this yourself, I recommend starting at about a third of the way um, with your tube, whether it's your M&M tube or a film canister with water. And then from there, you can start experimenting with how much Alka-Seltzer you want to add for an effect. All right, now that we got that covered, let's go outside and try this ourselves. Hey, so I'm outside my house now, so we're going to start doing our project. We're going to start with one half an Alka-Seltzer tablet with a third of water and go up from there. Let's see how it comes out. 